Successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. No matter how great the talent or effort, some things just take time. You can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. Time is the friend of the wonderful company, the enemy of the mediocre. Beware the investment activity that produces applause. The great moves are usually greeted by yawns. Risk comes from not knowing what you are doing. Never invest in a business you cannot understand. You only have to be able to evaluate companies within your circle of competence. The size of that circle is not very important. Knowing its boundaries, however, is vital. It's far better to buy a wonderful company at a fair price than a fair company at a wonderful price. Why not invest your assets in the companies you really like? As Mae West said, too much of a good thing can be wonderful. If you aren't thinking about owning a stock for 10 years, don't even think about owning it for 10 minutes. Our favorite holding period is forever. Calling someone who trades actively in the market an investor is like calling someone who repeatedly engages in one night stands a romantic. The stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. Success in investing doesn't correlate with IQ. What you need is the temperament to control the urges that get other people into trouble investing. Why diversification is only required when investors do not understand what they are doing. Whether we're talking about socks or stocks, I like buying quality merchandise when it's marked down. For 240 years, it's been a terrible mistake to bet against America. And now is no time to start. We always live in an uncertain world. What is certain is that the United States will go forward over time. My wealth has come from a combination of living in America, some lucky genes, and compound interest. Most people get interested in stocks when everyone else is. The time to get interested is when no one else is. You can't buy what is popular and do well. Keep things simple and don't swing for the fences. When promised quick profits, respond with a quick no. Though markets are generally rational, they occasionally do crazy things. Seizing the opportunity then offered does not require great intelligence. A degree in economics or familiarity with Wall Street jargon such as alpha and beta. What investors then need is an ability to both disregard mob fears or enthusiasms and to focus on a few simple fundamentals. A willingness to look unimaginative for a sustained period or even to look foolish is also essential. An investor should act as though he had a lifetime decision card with just 20 punches on it. We don't have to be smarter than the rest. We have to be more disciplined than the rest.